everybody. Well, what do you know? It's another update, isn't it? It's just another darn update from that big bear weather and more guy. So looking on the radar, one of the, this may be the heaviest part of the second half of this storm coming through. I'll show you guys on the, on the radar, or at least I'll just show you guys what it's showing right there. Right around 10 o'clock is what it's showing is the heaviest, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be in the next few minutes because I'm looking at the radar and watching the direction that, that the, that the uh, precipitation's coming in. So we're gonna drive towards the heaviest right now. And it certainly is beautiful out here. I love that zoomed in view. It's just hard to keep the focus when it's zoomed in like that. But we're gonna go drive by Snow Summit because they're the only ski resort still open up here now. From what I heard, I heard that they're all closed now. Snow Valley and Bear Mountain, but only Snow Summit is the Lone Ranger. And unfortunately guys, I see nothing else in the forecast other than 60 and almost 70 degree weather on and off for the next two weeks. There's gonna be some 50s and a cooler day in the 40s next week, but yeah, this is a, uh, made it through another season, guys. We made it through another season. I have survived another winter without an accident, which is crazy. That's my ninth season. Have not been in any accidents. I shouldn't have even said that. I should not have even said that. So, the jinx gods, please let me take that back. I shouldn't have said that. Those of you who are saying, but didn't you get in an accident last year? Yeah, I did. It was in the middle of summertime. Because I wasn't paying attention. When it's this type of weather, I'm always paying attention. But I was not paying attention. Someone slammed on their brakes to make a left turn. And there was nobody coming the other way. And they waited for some reason instead of just turning into the driveway. And it screwed me up. so many potholes right here I have to be so careful oh my gosh I can't even see I can't even see them and we are here that beautiful snow summit they have all the lights off on the hill that's irritating that is irritating man it sure is a beautiful place still just the buildings. Just the buildings make me happy. crazy in the five years and five months that I've owned this car basically just driving up here I put a hundred and three thousand miles on it just driving it like yeah of course I've gone down the mountain probably 20 times in the past five and a half years maybe maybe 30 times but still that's not much not much to put that many miles and then my my new car for the first six months I owned it I drove it for probably a good 7,000 miles and that's about all I have on that car and my Harley over the past almost five years owning that I've put like 12,000 miles on there 
And it's basically mostly just up here, you guys, all those miles. It's crazy. It really is nutty. So yeah, guys, this isn't going to be the longest update video. I did want to kind of go through the village because of how it's snowing right now, but that's uh, all right. some more of these back streets. This is Big Bear Boulevard that we're pulling up on right now. We're just gonna go straight across. Oh man, it, it really is so nice out here. Don't forget guys, to hook your brother up, to help me out, go to BigBearWeatherandMore.com, get, get some merch. And as I always tell you guys, please wear it with pride. We worked very hard to get this channel going. This is a channel that started with passion and a lot of depression. And uh, of course this channel will never get huge because it's so niche. It's about weather, which yeah, you can get big channels doing doing, uh, doing weather stuff, but we're primarily in this little town. That's all we do, it's just the weather in this small town and no one really cares. At least most people don't, you know? So that's... Uh, that's a big reason this channel will, will never get too big. I'm sure maybe in like 10 years we could hit like 100,000 subscribers because of our consistency. But uh, I want to thank you guys for, for just being there for me and helping me through this whole adventure on this channel and helping this channel get to, to where it is today. I have to be honest, I, I mean, I never expected us to get to where we're at today, so... I mean, not even close, not, not in my wildest dreams. If you would have told me when I started this channel, well, honestly, when I started this channel, you guys, I didn't care at all. Like, as I said, it started all out of depression and being in the snow like this made me feel a lot better. But I didn't care about some more subscribers or this and that. Um, I just needed an outlet and a way to record or just to, uh, watch it snow when I'm feeling down and out on life and I decided you know what since I can't afford any thumb drives to save my videos I'll save them on YouTube because guys as you can see I have, I have a lot of content and so it cost me a fortune to have so many external hard drives to save this stuff when I first moved here I was super destitute so I thought I'll save it on YouTube for free I never expected anyone to subscribe or become my friends on here or anything like that. That was just a, a, a major added bonus and something I'm very thankful for. Very thankful for. But it's all been a surprise. For those of you who are brand new, for the first seven years of almost nine years of this channel, I never asked in all so at that point I had about 2,900 or 3,000 videos, right? I never asked once in any of those videos for anyone to hit like or subscribe or anything like that. Ever. And when I got married I changed my tune because I thought, you know what, I do have to do everything I possibly can to uh, give us, my wife and myself, the best opportunity to, uh, you know, succeed the best that we can. So because of her, that's the only reason I've started asking you guys to hit that like and subscribe button, help the channel out, help it grow a bit, because it'll in in inevitably help the wife and myself. I appreciate it. I do love the channel. I love you guys. It's been a lot of fun. Making these commercials and promos has been amazing. I'm really, really lucky. Really, really lucky. But yeah, this whole thing kind of happened by accident. Again, never ever ever saw this channel ever growing. Like a few hundred subscribers was like an impossibility. And once I hit that first thousand, I was like, like wow, like really? And now we're at like twenty-three and a half thousand or something like that. It's just so cool. So, again, without you guys, none of this is possible. I mean, absolutely none of it's possible. And I can promise...
promise you one thing, as tiring as this gets sometimes during the winter seasons, because it does get very, very exhausting. I don't have any like real sleep schedule, but I'm very fortunate that I've run my own business up here also for almost as long as I've had this channel, almost as long. I, I've been doing my own thing for about seven years up here. So I don't have a boss. I don't have to wake up to be at work at a certain time. I don't have to be anywhere. So I can do this channel the way that I want. And it's a huge blessing. Because I'm very obsessive compulsive about it. And uh, yeah, just so many different factors have fallen into place for me to get this channel going the way that I want it to go. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, again, whether we keep on growing or stay stagnant as long as I have this ability to drive around record these storms and uh, share this with all of you guys that's all that matters to me you'll find a lot of YouTube channels out there and I mean a lot of YouTube channels out there it's all about the money for them I can't tell you how many like uh, how many YouTube channels I watch where they talk about like uh, like uh, top 10 in, in top 10 MMA slams or like something like that right and the guys that are like running the channel and uh, and the voice of the channel don't even say these fighters names properly in so many of these videos which that just shows me that you can clearly tell that they're just doing it for the money they're not doing it because they're passionate about it. And you know what? God bless them. If, if they can make a few dollars, then that's great. But how are you ever going to be happy in your life if you're not following what makes you happy? And I know that's easier said than done. Because a lot of us freak out about like, hey, well, if I follow my passion, it might take a long time for me to earn anything. How am I going to pay my bills? But that's just the risk you got to take. You know, if you never put that foot forward and give yourself that opportunity, you're never, ever, ever going to see what's possible. And trust me, you don't want to sell yourself short like that. We all deserve to be happy. And we all deserve to win. But my best advice, and I've said it a million times, is no matter what you're doing in life, of course we need money. Of course we do. But please try your best to do what makes you happy in life. If it's not that much money, who cares? Because I promise you, once you find that happiness, that's all that's gonna matter to you. And if the money rolls in, what a huge bonus. But find that happiness. And I can almost assure you that when you seek that happiness and it finally arrives, everything else will fall into place. It really will. shouldn't and doesn't cost anything. But maintaining it shouldn't either. And that's what differentiates this channel from a lot of other channels out there is there's just so much fake stuff out there. People just chasing that dollar. And again, I'm not denigrating people like that at all. I totally get it. I really do. I understand. I have sympathy for those people. And I can understand why they're trying to do things like that. But ultimately, you're never going to be happy. And if you have to wake up every day and be like, oh, man, I have to make another video because I have to make more content. And, oh, blah, 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 blah. That's a miserable life. You don't want that. I get to wake up every day excited that I get to do what I do for my regular job and excited about getting to do this channel. I don't have those efforts, if you know what I mean. Cases of the efforts every day, like a lot of people do. I used to, I used to say, oh, effort, I have to go to work today, that's horrible. I should just call in sick, or I wish I won the lottery so I don't have to deal with any of this. But once I changed my mentality, sought happiness before seeking that dollar yeah it was a little bit rough at first and frankly I didn't have much options but it's ended up working out for me and different opportunities keep on presenting themselves and I keep on trying to take advantage of those as well when those opportunities present themselves, you need to open that door and kick that door down fast.
be like, what's up? I'm here. Let's do it. Because again, you all deserve to succeed. And success begins with your happiness. It sounds cliche. It sounds stupid. I know. Again, I know a lot of people say like, well, how's happiness going to pay my bills? I get it. I get it, but if you've been doing the same thing one way for so many years and it's not working for you, what do you have to lose? Try something else. Give yourself a shot, man. You all all deserve it. And it's not like I'm rolling in the dough. It's far from it. But I, I get my bills paid. I can help my mom a little bit. Um, my wife doesn't have to pay any bills. And yeah, we're not left with much, if anything. But it's that feeling of happiness and accomplishment, knowing that I've done all this without anyone to fall back on. I've worked my butt off to get to this point, and nobody can take that away from you. Absolutely nobody can take that away from you. Your hard work, your efforts, your integrity that you put into everything. That's the definition of you. And there are not a lot of people out there these days who are willing to be that person. People will sell their souls all day long. And I know some some people out there would say, well, I'd, I'd rather sell, sell my soul and be super rich. And again, I can understand that mentality, but it's dangerous. It's not gonna bring you anything special in life. I mean, as I said, I haven't had a boss in, in over seven years. My last boss was my boss at Bear Mountain. I was a cook at Bear Mountain. I worked for a company called Levy. And I loved it. I loved it. But after working there, um, I started to realize one day like, hey, you know what, I might not have much, but I might be able to live my life the way that I want to live it. The only thing I'm missing, you guys, is although I could do vacations every once in a while, like most people do anyway, I can't because of my business and because of this channel. Summertime's my only opportunity to leave anywhere, and I only leave for two or three days once in a while in the summer to go see my, my elderly father in Florida. I don't get to go like to Disney World or um, the Caribbean and take my wife there and do things like like that, which, you know, I've worked hard enough to earn it to go enjoy stuff like that once in a while, but I can't because of my responsibilities. But when you think about it, it's a really great problem to have in life, you guys. That's a, that's the, that's a damn good problem to have right there. And that's the problem we all want. We don't want that problem of like, I gotta rob Peter to pay Paul. How am I gonna pay this next bill? You know, I still go through that once in a while, but it's few and far between these days. And I know my efforts, just like your efforts, will pay off. As I said, it's been seven years. I haven't been able to take any vacation that I like want to take just for me and my wife or, or something like that. But again, the people who succeed out there, they work really hard for a very, very long time before those types of opportunities begin to present themselves. So just hang in there, keep working your asses off. It is worth it. That feeling you get when you accomplish something great or when you're providing, there's no greater feeling. There's no greater feeling. That's why I feel so bad for, for um, people who still live off their parents. And I did that until my late 20s. And, and then my mom and dad lost everything. I was forced to become a man. I, I had nothing to fall back on anymore. I couldn't keep a job if I tried because I was so spoiled. And my mom and dad have nothing, absolutely nothing. I mean, I mean guys, absolutely nothing. And my parents had a lot too. So it's, it's, I'm very sad for them because I want them to 
not stress about money ever, but it's it's a big stress every month, and they're both 82 and 92 years old. The worst time of their life to have to really worry about these finances. Like, my mom had to get rid of her house, and she lives with my older brother, because she can't afford to pay rent. Like, it's a really tough, tough situation, but again, that was the greatest thing that ever happened to me was my parents losing everything because I'd still be a, a just total loser loser mooch manipulator so I share all this with you guys because I love you guys and I know that my experience and my strength and my hope can rub off on other people and even if it touches just one person's life that's all that matters I don't want to see people feeling the way that I used to feel. It's a miserable place to be. It's very depressing. Very depressing. And yeah, like, yeah, things have changed dramatically for me, but it's still far from perfect. Every day there's something else I need to work on. Every day there's something else I need to fight for when it comes to me and my emotions and my ambition but once again the, the best part about that is that I, I love what I'm doing with my job and this YouTube channel so it's not hard to find that motivation to fulfill my ambitions it's really not day or night I'm very proud of myself I still have a long way to go but I wish you guys would have known me 15 years ago you guys would you guys would not think that it's the same person, I promise you. You would be absolutely shocked. So just give yourself a chance. Take some risks. Stop being a victim. Stop blaming everybody else. And I'm saying this projecting because that's how I was. It was always everyone else's fault why I, I, I wasn't doing anything with my life. And again, I never expected this channel to get anywhere. And if you guys wanted to start some sort of a YouTube channel, and you're like, but no one's gonna watch my channel, who cares? That's what I thought too, who cares? Like, do it, because you know what? It'll make you happy, and you'll draw people who are gonna wanna watch your channel because they see that you are authentic, and that you do have a passion. They might not even care about what you're doing. They just like you as a person. And I found out that that's happening with this channel about me. And I always had such a low outlook on myself. Horrible outlook on myself. And you guys have just worked wonders for me. You guys have been the best therapist I've ever had, the best antidepressant I've ever had. And uh, I owe it to you guys to do the best I can and to succeed in this life. Because once again, if I can do it, you sure as hell can. And I'm always here for you guys. If you guys want to talk to me, um, if you want advice about things, if you want to hear more about my story and all my hardships and all my struggles and all my drug and alcohol problems and what I've done to overcome everything, I'll, I'll be right there for you in a heartbeat. In an absolute heartbeat. So just hang in there. Again, love yourselves yourself a chance because you all are very much worth it you really are worth it that's it you're worth it you're loved and you deserve something great in life so anyway this is the last video of this snowy event obviously we'll be doing an aftermath video tomorrow so I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, sorry for the rant but it's really important for me to share I feel like it'd be selfish for me not to share. And I do share my story every now and again on this channel, and I kind of just went through it quickly. I gave you the long Reader's Digest version. <laughs> but, yeah, just take care of yourselves, guys. Everything will get better. Just put one foot in front of the other. Find something you love to do. And do it. That's all I got to say. I love you guys very much. Have a wonderful evening. And don't forget I'm here for you. Peace out.